Anything interesting in here? Oops. I hope you have found Hello. us. What can this? You really, you really can't take me inside, huh? That's a bummer. May you I could have sworn that one of these guys would take me inside, but I guess I was wrong. So now I have a red, a red icon there, and another red icon here. What does my journal say? Let's see. No, maybe I can persuade one of the monks to help me. I don't think I really need it, honestly. I just break in. And we are a thief. So we do. Whoa. Hello, brother Holger. What can this peaceful monk do for you? Dude, you stranger? look pretty creepy, I'll tell you. Seen any blind monks? I don't know. Uh, of course not. Who is this? Uh, Sevilla? A uh, former lover, perhaps? I don't know anyone by that name. Really now? Let's see if you don't. Yes. Not being able to see his facial expressions could be a problem for May this. You wear Come over soft here, you. Silks. Actually, wait, I can see it now. What can this piece Here we go. Now I can talk to him. Uh, we'll see. Okay, he likes coercion and uh joking it seems. Whatever you want. I don't talk so. Sure, 58. that's cute. Don't try to uh, don't, 64, please. nicely done. I done. Not now. I accept. Sure, 67. that's cute. Not now. Not I sure. No 73. more. I see. All right. What do you know about the stone? I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I know you are trustworthy. The blind monks in the catacombs guard the stone. It's said to have magical powers. Don't tell Heridi I said anything. I could be banished for telling you. Where are the catacombs? I can't reveal that. It would be far too dangerous. I don't know you that well. Hmm. Maybe we For can you? make you know us that well. I doubt Let's it. See what we can get don't from this. I accept. Seventy-seven. <laughs> That's pretty good. And now he's maxed. All right. All right. So from here on out, it's just our ability to uh, to captivate him. You always so wear put another ten points. Seals. So he should be at eighty-seven now. What Let's see can tell us about the catacombs. Okay, okay, I'll show. <laughs> but only because you are my dear friend. Follow me. <laughs> Please be discreet and don't bother the other monks. Will do. May you always wear soft silks. Alright, show us the way. Whoa, why are you now gone? What the hell? Where'd he go? What the hell? Are you serious? Did he? Oh, he went out the door, didn't he? I was about to say, he just straight, like, disappeared. There you go, hold... Okay, and now he's going back inside. That's weird. Trying to confuse me, huh, Holgar? Or Holger? Who knows? Yeah, show me the way. It is definitely dark down here. I hope you have found your stay here pleasant. Wait, so this is the door right here? Oh, I guess so normally you'd bribe him outside and he'd unlock the door to the crypt for you and take you back here, but, you know. The Grey Fox hinted that the true guardians of Seville's Stone would not be subject to the blood price. I'm betting that also means they won't be too happy to see me. Better be careful from here on. Yep, they tell you that because, uh, enemies from now on will attack on sight. Or rather, on hearing, since they're blind. So let's get going here. Our sneak cells should be high enough to just walk past all these bastards, though. And even if they do sense us... We'll get a good battle out of killing them. Quite frankly, I could use the experience. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be anybody here right now. Oh gosh, a night eye potion would be great. Because it is really as dark as hell in here. It's just, ugh. Let's see. Where are we trying to get to? Uh, markers over there. Alright, I'll take this side route then. I don't think there's a whole lot of good loot to be found down here. Uh, other than you know, the actual like quest related items so honestly going wandering around on your own is probably not the best idea because you're probably just going to set off the alarm and not really accomplish a whole lot now what you need to avoid guess it was nothing it's being too loud near the guardians so walking slowly can help uh... don't don't try to pickpocket them or do anything like that uh... You basically just leave them alone you know where are you? don't mess with them you see Hello? Who's there? Yeah, they're hearing me, and they don't like it. So we'll pick this lock open, and uh, just 
pr proceed from here. As long as you don't touch them, you can probably sneak by if you have a good enough sneak skill. There's a rat there. I'd recommend you don't kill it, because quite frankly, it's not very hard to sneak past, if I remember correctly, and you don't need to uh, really bring attention to yourself like that. So just ignore it and continue on. And of course, there's all kinds of locks in here, so if you don't have the skeleton, you bring plenty of, lock, plenty of lock picks. And now we zippity doo dah day our way down this hallway here. This is not hard if you have a high sneak skill. It just really isn't. So I want to turn this way, don't I? As long as you don't avoid touching any of the monks, you should be perfectly fine. Okay, we got the monks on the move in here. I need to go back this way, it looks like. And our sneak skill increased. This might actually be a nice place to like tie the controller up with a rubber band and just run into a wall for a while to raise our sneak skill, but... Honestly, there are other, more conveniently located places to uh, do that, so I'm not going to do it now. Go ahead and pick this next lock as well. Don't stand too close to doors when they're opening. You don't want people on the other side to walk right through and become alerted to your presence. And here's like the moth bunks and everything. I don't know if there's anything down there, but it seems to be a nice detour. So if there's any treasures, they'll be that way. But quite frankly, I'm not that concerned with it. Ooh, what's in here? Yeah, gold. Thank you very much. You know, maybe it is worth exploring. Let's go check that other direction. I feel like this is going to be the death of me, but I'm curious. So let's go see. There is to see here. What's that flying around in there? Oh. I guess this would be the ancestor moths. Neat. Anything interesting going on in here? There's a chest back here. 57 gold. Nice. I suppose we can pick these. Yeah, they're all car and bullet. Nice. Whatever. I'm not too concerned. I suppose we could climb on top of that crap over there and hop up there, but I don't really know what there is to be gained by it. Since the only way to go back where we came is down here, so... Eh, nothing there, I guess. Another 50 gold. Not too hard to take, I suppose, if you want it. Heh <laughs> heh. Yeah, don't pickpocket them. They will they will catch you. I mean, these guys have a really good uh, detection ability. Their sneak skill is surprisingly high. Five from being blind, but you know how it goes. Anyway, oh, come on now. Even with the skeleton key, I'm still not ever really a pro at this lockpicking thing. I tell you, though, it is nice to have that damn thing. Alright, how close are we? Where's my marker? That way? I don't see it. It says it's right in front of me, but... Oh, wow, it's way up there. Yeah, we have a distance to travel here, don't we? Wow, lots of cave systems down here. I feel like I'm in Minecraft. Ah, yes, I sense the trap in this room. We'll hop right over that. No problemo. There also seems to be two wires here, so hop over both of them. Be careful. 40 gold, thank you very much. And we'll continue on our merry way. Skeleton. Interesting. Now, I have the brightness turned all the way up on my uh, TV, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see anything. Shit, he saw me. Okay, crap. Response. I need to remain as stealthy as possible while still killing this guy, and so, shocker it is. There's one. Hey, my destruction skill increased, that's cool. And light armor, nice. Anyway, I got a bow here, so let's just hop to it. Take this guy out before he becomes a menace. And I am using that spell, even though I said I'd try to avoid using too many spells in this quest line. But quite frankly, uh, my arrow's bouncing off of him. That's not cool. Alright. Sword it is now. He's way too close to us anyway. You like that shocker, don't ya? Come on, he's almost down. Ugh. Oh, come on. Get out of here. There we go. And sneak again. Okay, he might actually be a problem to get past. But, uh... Damn. Oof. That was actually a bit of uh, health damage I took there. I'm gonna wait to get my health.
health back up. Get a nice autosave, that's nice. Go ahead, take those. Yeah, I'm pretty low on, in terms of healing potions. Okay, I wasn't sure what that was. <laughs> I don't have many healing potions left. So I need to be careful from now on, I don't want to get killed. That skeleton could have been a very bad situation. If I remember correctly, this room has these spikes on the floor that you need to avoid. But I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do to avoid them besides hopping onto this chest. And then, ow! Using it to climb over. And then leaping the rest of the spikes. Pretty easy if you have a high acrobatic stat. Otherwise, it could become a problem for you. Is that a wraith? Oh, and you've got to be freaking kidding me. I hate wraith. Tell me I can just sneak past him. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> and into the shrine of the moth. I think we're getting closer. Whew, thank goodness, I hate wraiths. Alright, we've got green arrow now, so we gotta be close. Big room coming up. Let's slow down and take a look here. Yes, this is the room with the stone. Right there in the center, I think that's it. it seems to be. If I remember correctly, there is a couple of the stone's guardians in this room. Was that one standing down there? Yeah, there's a guy standing right down there. We do not want to set off the alarm in this room. If I remember correctly, there's some magical defense systems that will be activated. So we need to be careful about this. That's the way out there, so we're going to head for that once we've got the stone. But for now, it's just a matter of being sneaky and going and grabbing the damn thing. Got that blind guy right there spotting us. Whoa, where'd the fog come from? I don't like that. Come on, you don't see me. No way. Oh, it sees me! Shit! Take the stone and get out. So that should if that shit hits me again, we're done. Come on, juke it. Okay, he doesn't see us. All right, apparently that automated defense right there uh, just went off, spotted us. Whew! Looks like we escaped it though. That's good. Damn, I'm glad that didn't kill us. That could have been a really swift, really swift end to our quest there. <laughs> that thing had killed us right then. Oh man, here's a nice chest. Instructions. The Grey Cowl. Huh. Alright. We'll read that in a bit. Let's get out of here. And like I said earlier, you pop out the top of the well. How do you do? One way or the other. We, uh, we, got, the, we got the stone. There's no alarm raised. Wait a minute. Am I being told to go back? No. Why is the marker right there? It shouldn't be. Should be in Bruma. Yeah, it's in Bruma. Alright. Let's go back to Bruma and tell the Grey Fox, or rather return the stone to the Grey Fox. Alright, here we are back in Bruma. <laughs> this feels strange to not, not have to sneak everywhere anymore. One way or the other. We're gonna head up the uh, hill here. And he's waiting for us. Great. Head right back down the stairs, and he's waiting for us in the exact same place. How goes it? Pretty good. I hear the monks were most hospitable. Not really. Anyway, what's this about Nocturnal's cowl? You think this is Nocturnal's cowl? Where did you hear about that? Actually, the note from the monastery says that. I see. I suppose there is no hiding it from you. No hiding. What a joke. My whole life is hiding. Everything in that document is true. My identity cannot be known. In fact, I just told you my true name twice. But I bet you don't remember. <gasps> I don't! You and I have even met before, when I was not wearing the cow. To your clouded memory, he and I are two different people. My own family doesn't even know me. I would give much to be rid of the gray cow and its curse. Huh. That's weird. Anyway, I got the stone here. My sources tell me that Sevilla's stone has gone missing. Do you have it with you? Yeah, it's a quest item. I can't drop it. Capital! Now I can see past the palace defenses. Oh, it's a good thing the Emperor didn't know they had this stone. 
he would have had it destroyed or taken it from them and kept it under lock and key in the palace. When I have learned what I need to know, I will call for you again. Let us leave Helvius's house now. He has served me well and deserves his peace. Huh, alright. Can you pay off my fines and... No, I'm just kidding.